Everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play XCOM Terror from the Deep. When we last left off, Neo Redwire had performed an impressive stun. And yes, that whole last batch I was pronouncing Neo Redwire with one too many D's. But he is a deceptively spelt name. I meant, come on, where is he? There he is. Yeah, look at that name. It's got two Ds, but don't be fooled. There is more than meets the eye to Neo Red Wire. Pressing on. Zelda, who doesn't have two Ds in her name, shall now move forward in disgust. She, she is a bit disappointed that she missed out on the extra Ds, so she shall look around, moseying about pretty casually, because, you know, she likes getting captured. Anyway, um, otherwise, we are pretty much ready to end the turn. These guys aren't really seeing much action. Lonely scared girl. Don Cod needs to come out. As you can see, there's a deep one right there. He should have fire at this deep one. But he doesn't have a line of fire. And closing that would cause enough time units. So he's just going to run back in. Just, yeah, like that. That's great. Um. Let's into it. Well, that gill man died. That door opened and closed, and civilians continue to live on in good health. That deep one is nowhere to be seen. Don Cod doesn't like this. I realise it's Dom. That guy's a really weird name, but never mind. Perhaps, you know, he was incepted, and he had his name changed as a result of this inception. Zelda shall now continue to probe the mysteries of this building and will be joined in this endeavour by the always entertaining Neo Red Wire. I wonder if all of the loyal subscribers shall prove to be as useful as Neo Red Wire has been. Only time will tell. But feel free to volunteer if you want to take part. I've already got some names written down. So. That's right. This building's probably got some aliens in it. And usually this one on the side does as well. These sheds may or may not contain aliens. But otherwise, we shall just crouch. Um, and Harry Barry. Oh, Harry Barry's done. Let's end turn. There is a girl man down there. I shall slurp my iced tea in disgust. You girl man, you're going down. The lonely scared girl's on your case. I think it was up there, actually. Yep, the lonely scared girl sees and notices the alien threat. Is anyone within grenade distance? Silly pants, who may or may not survive the mission, depending on how quickly we can pull it off. I think he's got five turns left. Yep, five turns. Um... No pants, no pants, you can throw grenades. Unfortunately, you did it pretty sillily. I don't think you might have enough time units to pull it off. Oh, it's looking risky. Uh, 26, you need 39, and now you don't. Just put it back. No pants, you failed. Um. That's a nice idol, Harry Barry. That's a nice idol, could probably do, probably do it. No, he doesn't have a grenade. He's already used it. Disappointing. Because I just pre prefer not using the Lonely Scared Girl. Okay. Now, Lonely Scared Girl should pre prepare her own grenade. She doesn't even have the time units to do it. She could throw it if she wanted to. Oh, well. I just didn't want to risk the shot. Don Cod continuing to examine what's going on. There is a deep one running around somewhere. Um, that's a nice old can stay. Ah, that's right, Harry Barry. Harry Barry investigating. And there's a deep one. Oh, we could take that. Well done. 
And the Deep Ones, of course, was with the XCOM secrets, because that is the secret of XCOM, Deep Ones. As ridiculous as that sounds, it's actually not that ridiculous. Because, let's face it, how many things are unlocked using Deep Ones? Oh, well, that building's clear. Thank you, Zelda and Neo Redwire, clearing that building. Almost as if I'd hit clear in MS Paint. Um, that's all we'll do for this turn. I might make a little bit more of a search of Thousand Eyes Idol. We'll need to be cautious, after all these aliens are prepared to unleash their weapons upon us, if necessary. Oh, how disappointing for the lonely scared girl. Uh, we do know where those two aliens are, and we shall eliminate them with our guns. Probably should have just taken the chance. Normally I can rely on grenades, but today just didn't work out. Oh well. Um... Silly pants? Um... There's no one really nearby apart from Don Cod. Who could see that deep one up there? And we'll now fire up on the deep one. But don't not do anything interesting. Okay. How's a nice idol? Once again, no grenade. Come on, guys. Alright. Back to no pants. Finish the job, no pants. Do what you failed to do the turn before and throw your grenade there. No excuses. Uh, how about... Thank you. You did a good job, no pants. Thousand Eyes Idol continuing to examine this building with broken windows. Why are the windows always broken? Sometimes we'll just never know. We got that girl, man. And that deep one managed to get a civilian. Um, Thousand Eyes Idol tried to retaliate but failed to defend himself against the deep one. Um, it's important to notice that we did actually detect a deep one at the top of that building. Sorry, just fighting with my iced tea there. Yes, I sip tea and kill aliens. That's the way I roll. Don Cod once again noticing the same deep one. Time to finish the job. Finish the job. What is with you and not finishing the job? And now those stairs are useless. I don't think we can even climb them anymore. That's going to be a problem. Silly Pants is evaporating away. Any more grenades? Well, Thousand Eyes Idol, where are you? Zelda can come down. Harry Barry can come out. Neo Redwire, you can come outside too. Excellent. Um, okay, Thousand Eyes Idol. You might as well give it a shot. Not on the fire while crouching, okay. Not on a fire, not while crouching. I can see the one at the top. Direct hit! Thank you, Thousand Eyes Idol. Now, if Doncot does his job, that might be the end of the mission. But, he may not be able to do his job properly. Silly Pants has become unconscious. Well, we've still only got two turns left for Silly Pants before his life is ended by the fatal wounds. <laughs> Now that alien's taken out, but we won't waste this turn checking to see if what was the last one. How's the nice idol? Should now destroy this bar. No, he won't, because Thousand Eyes Idol is useless to know. Useless any day, really, considering what Thousand Eyes Idol's attack and defense points are. 
Zero and zero. No effect. Pretty useless. We could use a sonic blast if we wanted to. Um, we really can't see much at all. But, what we'll do is we'll call it a video. And so when we come back, we'll continue to play XCOM.